Oh, good morning, my lovers. It's a bit dreary today, a bit cloudy, but it's nice and warm. Yes, I thought I'd uh, come back to the Roman field. I've got to be able to find something here. I just can't give up. I reckon persistence will pay off. I know, I probably said that every time I've been on here. And the only thing I found on the Roman field is a nice lot of Roman pottery at about two feet deep, well beyond the range of most detectors, including mine. And uh, two possible Roman coins, which are now being identified by my finds liaison officer. Um, so, so I'll have to see if they're actually Roman or not. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, but I've been taught by the expert, the chap who found the uh, licking dog hoard. Um, I brought him out onto these fields uh, last Tuesday. Yep, not Tuesday gone. Tuesday before. Tuesday. Anyway, you get the message. Uh, he, he came here onto these fields and I actually found more stuff than he did. Right, Pete? So, um, I'm feeling quite confident now. I reckon I'm going to go out onto this field and the first signal I find is going to be a hoard of a thousand Roman gold coins. Uh, yeah, right. So, we'll see. I'm going to have a swig of coffee. I puff on me vaporizer and I'm going to get to it. Cheers! Oh, I got a, thing. I got a signal down in here, my lovers. If I turn it on, nope, that might help. my lovers it's one of them whistly things oh what is it they call these oh I don't remember hey hold on a minute this might be silver it could be silver let's have a look it says ARP ARP that's the um Air raid people, isn't it? The Second World War air raid whistle. It says J. Hudson and Co. Bar Street, Ho Hockley, Hockley, Birmingham. Could it be silver? I don't think it is silver. Doesn't look like silver. It'd have all marks on it if it was silver. But it's not corroded much, if at all. No, yeah, it looks like plate. I can see bubbling. Oh, I'll get this cleaned out and I'll give it a blow. Right, let's get a bit of hawthorn from the hedge. I'll see if I can clean it out, my lovers. No, unfortunately, it's well. There's a lot of mud right in there. So, I'm going to have to uh, clean it out at home. Unfortunately, I would have loved to have given it a little blow. Yeah, ARP. I forget what it stands for. Air Raid Personnel. Yeah. That's got to be my find of the day, and that was my first all. So, things are looking up. But it was a banging signal, so it was only a couple of inches down. Right, on to the next. I've just been thinking, my lovers, what's an ARP whistle doing in the middle of a field? Ooh. Perhaps what do I do if I get a really big iron signal, eh? Do I dig it? <laughs> and I put my ear to it, if it starts ticking, do I run like buggery? 
Right, this ear, my lovers, was giving me a proper iron signal when I detected it. And nine out of ten times, if you get an iffy signal, it's going to be iron. But this looks coin-shaped. As soon as I dug the clot out, it became a lot better, the signal. I think it's a small button. Yeah, I think it's a small button. But even so, this gave me a perfect iron signal. That could have easily been a Roman coin. It's got a bit of fancy on it. Right. I don't think there is any. It is a bit uneven, the surface. I'll give it a rub on my trousers. No, I just think it's just a bit lumpy bumpy. Right, on to the next. Right, what we got here, my lovers, if this is the amount of iron that's in the ground here. So I'm going to show you. And what I'm looking for, this is, I'm doing it in low and slow. So hardly any discrimination at all that you can see. If there is any. I don't think there is. I think it's an open, what they call open screen. Right, so I'm going to show you what... Um, iron there is in the ground here. Oh, did you hear that then? No. What I'm looking for here is a nice low tone. Oh. And you put the pinpointer in. Right, now I'm going to switch to tadpole. Right about there. Right, I'm going to dig this one. It said 12 inches, I think. Yeah, 12 inches. And at that depth, the detector can struggle to see what's in the ground. In fact, most detectors will struggle. So I'm going to dig it, and then I'm going to show you what it is. All right, my lovers? Right, I've got it out, the signal. And as you can see, I've got the pinpointer and nothing there. Move over. Now, that's cleaned up an awful lot more. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing it's going to be uh, a small object because it said 12 inches and it's only nine so I'm gonna see what it is oh, what have I done with my pinpointer? Ah I've left it on the last hole I did. Oh here it is
smell it. Oh, where's it too? Oh. Eh? Where's it too? Oh. I'll come back to you when I find, right, I found it, my lovers. Here it is. And it is a something. Ooh, I don't know. Ah, here we go. Looks like a bit of melted aluminium. But that could have so easily have been a really nice object. When you go out onto the fields and you find a bit of rubbish like this, what a lot of people do is they put discrimination on, they notch it out. You notch this out and you could be notching out silver coins. Or gold coins, or gold even, if you were to notch this out. You go detecting, you've got to have an open screen, you've got to have it all metal mode. And then what you do is you switch between all mo old metal mode to uh, another program just to sort of confirm whether it is rubbish or not. And that's what you do. You dig everything. Right, on to the next. Oh, look what I just found, my lovers. I think, though, it looks a bit buttony. Yeah, definitely looking buttony. That's the second broken one I've got off this field. They must have been doing some ploughing at some point then. All these broken buttons. Right. On to the next. Oh, look what I just got here, my lovers. I didn't film it because I thought it was going to be a bit of rubbish. But it looks like... Now, is that a buckle thing for a buckle? You know, that strap end, possibly. I don't think it's Bronze Age. The metal's way too thin. Well, it's quite old, I should think. Maybe 100 years old. Yeah, I think that's just a, like one of those canvas belt strap ends, you know. Right. That's quite near where I found the, um, the whistle. And, the, and this and the whistle are right underneath some power lines. So I'm thinking that nearby there might be a great big hole and uh, a, there's a big bomb in the bottom of it. Or maybe not. I'll see if I can find any big indentations and then see if there's a, a metal signal. Of course, if, it, if one was to drop here, it will be way, way over the depth of uh, what my metal detector can do. It might pick up a big iron signal more than 12 inches down, but um, I don't think I'll be digging it somehow if I did. Right, on to the next. Right, I was just digging this hole, my lovers. And I was always dig a bit of earth out to begin with. I get down to the depth that it says on the detector. Um, so I was digging the hole and out it popped. It's just a nice shiny pewter button. They make a lovely low tone, these pewter buttons. Sound better when it's underground for some reason. Right, on to the next. I'm thinking I'm having a bit of a button day today, my lovers. Yeah, I think that's a button. Oh, it is. With the shank intact. Right, on to the next. Oh, I just got up a lovely bit of iron, my lovers. Look at the shape of it. Looks like an axe head. I'm not sure it is, because it's all one thickness all the way through. It definitely looks like a sort of axe head shape. 
is a little bit thicker there. But I would have thought it would have been more tapered, like that, like you know. Hmm. I suppose it could have been some sort of like maybe shaving type axe head. But it's very thin. Right, on to the next. Oh, look at this, my lovers, look at this. It's a bit squashed, but it looks like one of those thimbles without a top. Oh, yeah, lovely. One of those headless thimble type things. And it looks really, really old. And I've just had something out of this hole that I've never had before. Something that's really, really weird. It's not a hot rock. It's a hot pot. It's a hot pot. <laughs> I've never had a hot pot before. It's got a bit of decoration on it. Isn't that weird? I've never had a hot pot before. That is bizarre. Right. It's got a bit of decoration on it. When I thought the shiny when I saw the shiny I thought, ooh, Samian wear. But it's a bit thick. I don't think it's Samian wear. Right, on to the decks. I got here my lovers, I must have just missed it. There's the edge of something. Ooh, goes round. Ooh, is it a piece of junk? I think it's a piece of scrap. What a shame. I thought that was going to be something nice then. And it is a bit of scrap. Very thin. Old stuff is usually pretty thick. And this looks like it's a rim off something. Probably an old bit of cart or something. Right, on to the next. Look what I got here, my lovers. I think I got another button. Yep, another button. Ugh. Buttons galore today. Right. Ooh, dropped it. On to the next. Look what I got here, my lovers. It looks a bit odd. It's like a little top. It's like a little tube with wire going right through both ends. Pass. <sighs> yep. Getting a bit dark now. It's not focusing too well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, bizarre. Right, on to the next. I got a target in here, my lovers. Sounded pretty good on the old screen. Where is it to? No. 
afternoon. Who's it? Who's it to? No. Ah, I got it in my lovers. Let's get a bit of light. It's going dark. Right, what we got here? Ooh, what's that then? Oh, it's got a pretty pattern. Got some holes in it. Ooh, don't know. Is it my first bit of Roman? Could it be Roman? I don't think it's Roman, it's got drill holes in it. I shouldn't think it'd have drill holes in Roman. Right. On to the next. Oh, I think I got something in here, my lovers. Oh, it's a thimble. Let's get a bit of light, what there is left of it. Right, another thimble. I'm on a roll today. Who's a big one? Probably even fit me. Right. On to the next. Is it going to focus? Focus, focus, focus. Mm, gonna... Ah, there we go. Right, on to the next. Well, look what I got in here, my lovers. I got another target. We got. Oh, is it a coin? It might be a coin. Oh, no, it's a button. I was going to say my first coin of the day, which would have been nice, but uh, it looks like I'm not going to be a coin day today. No, oh, it's been a button day and thimble day. Button and thimble day. Right. Ugh, it's not focusing. Come on. Right getting too dark for the focusing lock. Right. Oh, that's it my lovers. That's it. End of the day, unfortunately. I'm starting to like this low and slow pro program. In combination with Tadpole, I think um, what I might do with Tadpole is lower the, um, the discrimination a little bit. Just lower it. And um, see if I can get some extra depth on tadpole somehow but I, but I like the way it's sort of quite stable when you find a target with the low and slow you wander around and it, it screams off at every target so when it finds a signal uh, a good one it screams off on it but you switch it to tadpole and you can hardly hear it so you know it's making this field into a new field literally because now as I would have had it in tadpole and I probably would have missed it now it because it screams off in low and slow I, I've got a target and I can isolate I can move it in and get really on it like as before I would have been it would have been a no sound it would have just coil would have gone over it without noticing it because it's uh, you know it, it's just a better program so I think uh, it's, it's a bit like wandering along with your pin pointer on all the time so I'm going to tweak the programs a little bit, see if I can get some extra depth out of the uh, tadpole. But um, I'm, you know, a combination between low and slow and tadpole, I think, uh, is the way forward for me. Because lots of people use different programs, but I think this one's the best. Right, I'm off down the pub now. Oh, for some jars of ale. Yeah, sun's gone down. It's about uh, 20 past four getting dark I don't want to be slipping over in the mud so uh, I'm gonna hit the rubber road to freedom rubber as in boots and uh, get down the pub for some jars of ale cheers